there. This is Lana's Enchanted Sky, your spiritual fairy guide. We're bringing you a reading for October 6th to the 13th of October 2023. Please hit like and subscribe for a chance to win a free reading hypnosis, whatever I do. Please also visit EnchantedSky.com. You can book a reading there. Please be watching Find Us at Physical Meanderings. I have some new predictions that I'm getting, and um, I just want, I have it in a nice long list typed out and written and organized. So it'll be on the podcast on Wednesday morning, 9.30 a.m. Central. Now, always the same schedule, Sunday night, 7 p.m., Mondays at 2 p.m., these are Central, and, and um, Tuesday nights with my followers. This week will be my followers. We're, I'm teaching tarot cards. And then Wednesday mornings is the podcast. So that's my schedule. All right. And so for today, you're enjoying yourself. So you're going to go out and enjoy the outdoors. You're going to enjoy the finer things in life. So you might be, maybe you're going to go to a nice movie and relax. Or take a nice walk outside in nature. You might be, you're getting away. You're getting away. That's literally, this could be over even over water. but Or going to water. Now, Here's money. Now, there's something to do with money today, and it has to be very, you be very careful how you spend it or watch how someone, something about money. Now, that could be also making plans because look at, there's an offer that you're going to hear about or it's going to come to you. You need to cut yourself loose. So it seems to me like this is more of a plan of money, and this is more of a just be careful and think about things today. Okay, but it could have, but it does have something. There is a money base a little bit here. All right, so let's go to Tuesday. For the seventh, you're owning something. Like you, this could be you going to the doctors, but it also could be you owning it, you making things happen, and it's from your past. So be thinking about that. You're manifesting something. Okay, um, you're kind of disappointed in something, but you didn't realize it's not that big a deal. But there's a wish granted or a wish coming, okay? And the Page of Cups is all about emotionality. It can be a youthful person. They can be gay. They're very emotional, very youthful, very young. And you don't know what to do about something. So you're sitting and waiting. I'm going to pull one more card. And it's going to be juggling. And I want to say more of time. There's something to do with some time or Maybe you're just going to be extremely busy today. So take your time. Everything will be okay, but go ahead and do it yourself. Okay? So let's go to Wednesday. So I got some cards from us. Uh, actually, they're kind of from Sunday. It's all about money. This is a lot of it. And it's saying, here we go. It's the same. Be careful. It's telling me to be careful of everything you say and do. Just be wise. Be Think it through. You're enjoying the fruits of your labor. See how they're almost the same? And you're cutting yourself loose and you're getting away from what does not work, which I find very interesting. It's, it's a repeat almost, but you're worrying about something. So something financially in some way has concerned you and there's, it's the darkest part of the dawn. You're just waiting it out. Don't worry. Okay. That's remember that this card never manifests. It's just useless worrying. Okay. So think about it. All right. Let's go to the ninth. So the ninth, you're stuck in a repeated pattern. These cards are the same as the couple days ago. And it's all about being disappointed from your past. So there's something going on there. There's also something very, very emotional, but you don't know which way to go. So you're waiting for all your information. Now also, you're getting your wish though. There's a wish granted or this could be healing too. And there's juggling. So this is a very interesting thing and you're going to manifest. You, it's you owning this. So make sure you do it. It's interesting. It's a repeated pattern. Maybe you're trying to achieve this week. Okay, let's go to the 10th. So here's the 10th and there is, okay, this could be you going forward with that energy. It also could be a Larry, Aries Leo Sag. There's also you with money or there's a person you're dealing with that could be a Capricorn Taurus or Virgo. Now, the way you think things are going to go is not how they're going to end up. And it's my, very traditional. Whatever, which, whatever is going on for you. They're telling you again. And this card has appeared three times this week. Manifest it. Own it. You have all the tools you need to be successful. This is a lucky card. But this can be going forward. This could be money. This can be having to do with horses also. So, all right. Because, you know, it's transportation. Or a car or a bike. or Okay. Something to think about today. Okay.
this is the 11th and you ended something in a good way um stay strong there that means that you're staying strong it can be the card of leo but it also can be a manifestation you don't know something they're not telling you something it has something to do with some being strong about something so they're not telling you now here's where you've come complete circle everything is done and if you have to walk away do now there's a woman of power or also can be a uh, aquarius gemini or libra and you need to cut yourself loose from that person or that situation and you will know more in 30 days okay let's go on to the 12th okay so today there is a message in writing there's something and it's going to be helpful some way it's going to be helpful to you you're also getting a little rest and relaxation just vibing you know and the Queen of Pen the Queen of Cups is wise counsel, but it's also uh, intuitive. And I'm the Queen of Cups on my in my the deck of fifty two, which would be the Queen of, of Hearts. Anyway, um, just pay attention to this because it could be also a Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer. Now you're unhappy. There's something you're being dreamy. You're like, Ugh, and you don't know what to do about something. So that might be taking precedence today at the end of the day. However, at the very end of the day, it, things are going to get much better. It's the happy family. Okay? So just wait it out. I think your feelings will pass. Okay? All right. So the 13th is stand your ground, put up your boundaries. And this is you holding on to your emotions. Don't over spend. Don't over get emotionally. Just stay calm, collected, and grounded. Today, you got to make your mind up about something. Now, it could be lovers, but usually it's, you have to make your mind up about something. And now there is a king of cups involved, which can be wise counsel. Also, could be it could be love, but this can be where you've got to keep a level head and make a decision about this. All right? This also represents a time of healing, but this is usually a person. And they're usually a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio. Here's where you can't make your mind up. Like, you just can't get going. Like, it's either that or it's kind of like, it's almost like... There might be even bad news or something where it's in limbo of an offer. So pay attention to it. My whole point of this whole week is that you keep getting repeating cards this week, which means there's a lesson to be learned as far as keeping things together and making things happen for yourself. Blessings to you. Make it a great day. And how can you make the planet a better place?